all right ha says welcome back to another video and in this tutorial what i want to do is i want to show you guys how to create a really basic app so we're not going to be talking about anything in detail really but what i want to do like i said is i just want to show you guys a quick tour of the interface show you guys how to set up a really basic project and then later on when we talk about everything in detail you won't be confused and you'll be able to follow along really easy so pop open xcode and the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new xcode project so whatever ios app you're making whether it's for the iphone the ipod touch or the ipad you always want to create a new xcode project so click that and let me readjust my window so you guys can see it and by the way this screen recorder on a mac i can't tell where my borders are because whenever i'm using the software on windows it has a nice little green outline so hopefully you guys can see this because if this is out of view and i have to record this tutorial again i'm probably going to drop kick my computer so anyways the first thing we have to do is we need to choose a template for the project so on the left hand side we can see okay do we want ios or os 10 and this is okay do you want to make software for the ios or just your desktop just the mac well of course this tutorial series is for iphone ipad development so click ios and we're just making a really basic app a really basic application so now we have to choose okay what's the overall structure what's the overall navigation for it and later on when we talk about the different types of navigation this is going to make a lot more sense but for right now we just want to create a single view application and this is just a really basic app with one screen nothing fancy so that's what we're going to be doing and if we click next right now what it says is okay so that's what you want to do so give me some details about it the first thing is the product name which is essentially the name of your app so i'm just going to name mine like sample you guys hear that it's like a little oh now that I'm trying to get you guys to hear, it's not making any noise, but my chair is randomly like squeaking. It's kind of annoying me. I have to spray it with some WD-40 or something later. All right. So your app name is just whatever you want to name it. Of course, if you're actually making an app to put in the app store, you're going to want to name it something not idiotic like sample. But for right now, sample will be fine. Now the organization is pretty much the name of your company or just your name if you're making an app under your personal um, company or whatever. So whenever you put this in the app store, it's gonna say like sample by the new Boston, whatever. So that's what that is. Now your organization identifier is usually your website in reverse domain notation. And this is just standard uh, practice among app developers. So my website is the new boston.com. So whenever I want to identify myself in my organization, I'm going to use com dot the new Boston. It kind of looks weird at first, but I don't know. That's what you do. So why do you do this? Well, whenever I put this app in the app store, this is probably going to be like uh, really popular, the greatest app ever made. However, there are already a bunch of apps named sample. Well, what if I change this name to photo editor? Well, there's probably already like a thousand photo editors in the app store, but there's only one com dot the new Boston dot sample. So it's just a way that Apple and the app store can identify your app from everyone else's. And uh, yeah, that's a quick little tutorial on that. Now it says, okay, what language are you going to use? Well, Objective-C, that is the old language. We want to stick with Swift the programming language of iOS future and for devices I'm just gonna go with iPhone for right now if you guys are like you know what it would probably be better if you just choose universal because you know I don't know it sounds like it would run on every device well universal involves a little bit more code to make it compatible with every device so right now just starting out just choose iPhone it'll be really simple and along with this core data make sure that is not checked and this is um, kind of detail later on. I'll explain it later when we get into more detailed stuff. But for right now, we're only worried about the basic stuff. So hit next. And okay, where do you want to save this project? Now, it doesn't really matter where you save it. It doesn't need to be in any special directory or anything. 
So you can put it anywhere on your computer. I already have a folder called iOS projects that I'm going to be storing all of my projects in. And another thing I want to make sure is make sure that you have this unchecked. Now later on I'm going to be talking to you about source control and version control and how to use Git and SVN. But for right now, it's um, an extra step that we don't really need. So uncheck that, we won't have to worry about it, and click create.